Hey guys, Philosopher here, and today I'm going to be testing out counters against the Heroes for Hire team. So, you know, I'm fortunate we uh, are in an alliance war where the enemy is not going to be able to clear us. So what we've done is left up the largest Hero for Hire teams, and we're testing out different attacks. So I think I've got about four attacks saved up purposely uh, so I could do them all in a video here. Even if we win, we're going to quit out uh, just to see how they went. So here I've got one we're going to do. What I figure we'll do is we will do the team that a lot of you uh, have already uh, seen used or, and uh, have has gotten a lot of uh, a lot of hype. So here is uh, for example, the three, quote, good inhumans, in other words, Black Bolt, Yo-Yo, and Crystal, along with Kestrel and Silver Surfer. So the idea here is that Silver Surfer is going to clear the charges off of one of the enemies. Um, you also have uh, Kestrel, uh, who is going to, on her alt, be able to uh, kill one of them so he doesn't revive. My Black Bolt is only level 4. He's only gear tier 14, level 80, but still, obviously, for this matchup, that's uh, you know very good. I do have a G15 Surfer. Now, with uh, Yo-Yo's uh, gear tier 14, level 80, I did switch her to Skirmisher. I do think that buff removal is very, very important versus the Heroes for Hire. And one of the issues with this team is... You know, other, you know, you really got, I think, Surfer stripping the buffs. You have Kestrel stripping buffs on her ultimate. But then I think you want even more buff strip. Obviously, uh, B Black Bolt's basic does that. But I think the interaction here with Skirmisher and Striker might help that as well. So our goal here, uh, we're going to be testing this out, is to try to get down Colleen Wing. You know, Colleen is the huge damager here once she's down i'm not really scared about anyone else in the team uh i think that you know the rest of the team uh is not going to kill you uh quickly now they still obviously there's some damage there you got the ult from luke cage but you know misty knight's more of a debuffer uh and the others uh not huge damage but here look the captain marvel is a threat as well we'll see who she ends up deciding to hit first um Although I must say, uh, not super concerned there. So now, notice here, look at this. They went, went at Kestrel first. This is really a, a good case scenario. My Kestrel's the highest health, which is why she got this ability block. The reason that's such a great case scenario, of course, um, is because that means that uh, uh, she's just going to eat those uh, debuffs. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try to spread some vulnerable here on Luke Cage. Um just because in case we need to remove buffs. Okay, so we have, we're already having some issues. Okay, they go after Kershaw because she's also the highest attack. No problem. They're trying to go after her again. I actually think she's so survivable, I would kind of rather do that. All right, so we're going to go after Colleen because I really believe that that's who you want to deal with there. All right, so now let's use the alt and try to erase Colleen and we did all right so that's done um, all right we're just going to spread some vulnerables around uh, crystal is an excellent raider all right so now what I think we should do um, hmm. I think we will work on Misty next okay now we're going to see as you can see we have to deal with Luke Cage All right, so now that we've erased the taunt, we're in very good shape. All right. No problem, right? Easily handled. All right, so we're just going to ping there. We'll do that. Okay, so now Misty's down. Okay, no problem there. Mm -hmm. So that's a really underrated part of why Surfer is so well here. It's not just removing the charges, it's stealing the buffs, which I think is, you know, very important. So working on Iron Fist, you know, next, he is, of course, 
um, their cleanser healer. All right, so he's gone. I think it's safe to say this one's a win. We're going to chalk this up as an easy win. I mean, whether Crystal survives or not, she's only G13. Obviously, it's a big punch down, but it gives you an idea how the team works, right? Let's quit out and take a look at another option. All right, so that one, no big deal. Easy peasy. Now I think what we're going to do is try out Zemo in place of Crystal. Let's see how Zemo does. Does is he survivable? Uh, does is his buff clear helpful? I don't know. Let's just try. I've seen people succeed with it, so we'll take out Crystal and we will put in Zemo. Let's just see. All right, onward we go. Obviously, this makes this team even more of a super team in a way. Crystal, I think, is a more efficient choice because you're not going to necessarily want to use her elsewhere. So I'm not sure I like this choice. But let's say, and this is obviously 250k punch down. But let's say that you are at, you're at a high level and you haven't built up your crystal. I mean, that's why I wanted to do this one because I think there's a lot of people who have ignored crystal. Uh, I have gotten her to G13. I didn't bring her to G14 because I just felt like, you know, Black Bolt and Yo-Yo kind of carried that team. And she was just there to stand there and cleanse debuffs with her passive. So let's see here. I, I was thinking that Zemo would be good for the cleanse. And it didn't work all that well. So then the question is, do I want to uh, ability block Iron Fist, or do I want to ability block Luke Cage? I think I'm going to ability block Iron Fist because I think I had no trouble getting past the taunt on Luke Cage before. Anyways, we're going to see if that's RNG-based or not. Okay. You could see that Zemo can be a little brittle. All right, we're going to get rid of the charges on her first again. No problem. And then let's see here. Kestrel, of course, comes right after and should delete her. Yep. All right. So that's that's easy. Okay. She goes after Yo-Yo this time. That's no big deal. I think one mistake I made last time is not just using this on Misty the first time. Oh no, it's wrong. That what that I did it right the first time. Uh, I think let's just get rid of Captain Marvel. Here's no reason not to. Um, I perhaps should have tried to get rid of Luke Cage. I don't know how much this matters. But I'm just trying to think of what what the right thing to do there is in terms of what is the right type of attack. Okay, so here we'll just, I think, put the defense down on him. And then we're just going to ping and Kestrel kills. All right, let's do that. I do like using Black Bolt. There we go. We're just using tons of charges here. Okay. Let's steal all of his buffs. I don't know why I'm actually focusing him here. I actually want to want to be focusing here. Should be focusing Misty Knight. I just, what can I say? We're just using up charges here without even really getting them down. So this this should be no problem. We've already got the charges off of him. But I think this is better spent here, stealing all of the buffs off of her. All right, no problem. We got the defense down on her, so it's easy. Okay. I think we've, we've won that one. That one was easier. Big punch down, though, right? Big punch down. So let's try something totally different. Let's try something totally different. Hold on. Yeah, I think it was clear we won that one, right? So I think now what I'm going to try to do is try using Axemen. I think that'll be fun. There we go. See, I got a, still got a couple attacks left. And what we will do is use our axe men now people what people are doing is taking out kitty and putting in kestrel 
I'm thinking, though, why don't we take out Iceman and put in Fury? And I think you got that. I got that ridiculous costume. Man, he looks kind of weird in that, doesn't he? Uh, anyway, point is, I think this makes the team even better than having Iceman on the team. Um, although the slows do help. The slows do help. They're gonna have high resistance, though. Well, well, let's do it with just Iceman. Let's do it with Iceman. All right, let's do it with Iceman. He's only G13, but I actually don't mind that. Uh, what we will do is move move them around a little bit from their usual setup. I usually have Kitty and Iceman here, so when they get hurt, that's fine. We put Bishop in the middle, but let's actually put Bishop. Um, uh, so we'll put Bishop on the end this time. And this way, if anyone gets hurt, it's Iceman. If he dies, he revives anyways. But you like to get him low health so Beast gets going. So everyone gets offense up. All right, let's see how this works. Uh, the idea here is that Bishop does not start as the highest damage. So on all of these, you have to keep track of who's the highest damage, who's the highest health. You want the highest health to be like Kestrel because she just eats the debuffs. The highest health is going to get ab uh, ability blocked and disrupted on turn one by Misty. The highest damage is going to eat a whole bunch of attacks. So if your highest damage is not somebody um, that can take some hits, you're in trouble. Okay, if your highest, you know, if your highest, you see how that, there you go. You see that ability block there and that um, disrupt. Okay, so now you see they're they're going after, uh, they're going after um, Bishop, which is fine. Okay, so now the question is, do I use the cleanse or do I use the ultimate, I think I'm going to use the ultimate here, get that speed up. And then now we will do, um, let's do this right here and see how it goes. All right. Okay, now they're going, that's interesting. So I guess for briefly Jubilees, okay, Jubilees the highest damage right now, which we don't want, all right, because she's got offense up and Bishop doesn't. All right, so now, all right, that did not work very well. That alt on Colleen Wing did not achieve the desired results here. Not sure why that was. All right, well, now what we're going to do is I'm going to stun Iron Fist. Why? Well, because we don't want him cleansing the debuffs. We want everyone to continue to stay slowed. All right, let's heal everyone up. I think that would be a good idea right now. All right, now let's get him back to being the highest damage so that he takes the hits. Bishop is the guy. All right, so what we basically have there is we're going to be, this is going to be an attrition fest where what we're going to try to do is get down as much as possible. One thing I'm sure you could see is, like, I'm basically ignoring Captain Marvel. I mean, she's really not enough of a threat at this stage of the game to matter so no no it's not like there's no offense there but you know she's what i'll call a budget option like if you don't have anyone better to use there's nothing wrong with uh with uh captain marvel but she's not gonna like win the day for you see how this works though look at they're all targeting bishop that's more or less what we want here the issue is just do we have enough sustain i will say with beast he really helps. He really helps. Okay. The problem is just there's so much damage output here. It's just so much. But we finally got all the charges off. Okay, so now we don't need to attack him anymore. We're going to attack over here. All right. All right. Uh oh, I would have should I what I should have done is kept him above. Although we're out, these guys are out on char out of charges or almost out of charges. We are definitely doing this the long way slash hard way. So she's out of charges. 
Let's just get her down if we can. Oof. Interesting, huh? Uh-oh. Stay alive, little bishop. He's actually a big bishop. I mean, that's a G15, six red star, yellow, seven yellow bishop. All right, so now let's stun him again. Okay, and now I understand that I need to remember to keep him under. You know, the issue here is I was not keeping him under. Notice, by the way, timing out is becoming an issue here. Now, obviously, I'm, to be very blunt, I'm spending a lot of time chit-chatting with you while I'm recording this. I'm not going through this later like a commentator. Okay. So now uh, I would probably just stun him. And I think the fight would be over. Um, yeah, I the fight is basically, the question would just be timing out. Um, so interesting, right? I mean, you get the concept on this one. I'm going to quit out of this one because I think it's interesting though, right? Interesting. All right. Now, the question is here, that obviously it's a huge punch down. And I will tell you, it's hard finding, I've got big characters, I'm gonna have to, in our next war, try to find an even bigger heroes for hire. All right, so this is my last attack. Yeah, so that punch down was eh, 140K. All right, I know a lot of the stuff you've been seeing is. So, all right, let's try something totally wacky. Um, cause I do think fury may be very good here. It's something to try. Let's try something wacky. Let's do Hydra and let's see how that works and try to get him to target. Although they're going to target Kestrel, right? If I do Kestrel with him, I think my Grenadier is not big enough to out damage my Kestrel. Let, let's check. So what you got to know is when you go here, You've got to know who is your highest damage and who is your highest health. If you haven't figured that out, it's not going to go very well for you. So my Kestrel damage is what? 37.43. And the damage on my Hydro Grenadier is, so it's 37.43. And what's he at? 22.039. So with 10% from Red Skull, he that's going to get him to oh, about, let's say, 24. The, the thing is, I think by the time he hits his turn, he will have the 40% from his passive. Let's try it for the lulls. For the lulls. Let's see how it works. I do have, uh, I do have him... At a fairly high state, he's G14 level, I think 77. Um, but we could try it. My, I think this is a, a solution that I don't know will scale very well at super high levels. Let's see, though, how it works here. All right, we got one more attack. Let's make, let's have some fun with it. Um, all right, let's try it. So we're going to go here. We'll put, uh, I would say... Um, well, we can put Grenadier on one side. Um, not sure who we're going to put there yet. Well, let's just leave her there for now. Um, and then, actually, we should put Kestrel right next to him because, let's face it, Kestrel's super survivable. Well, here, we'll put Zemo, Kestrel, and then... We'll put on this end here, we'll put Red Skull. He's going to res Grenadier when Grenadier dies. So the question is, who do we put in this spot? Uh, and let's see. I've been saving some of these characters. Uh, let's try Sil oh, Silver Surfer, though, makes it too easy. Like, he's carrying it. We could do Black Bolt, although then he's the highest damage. Hmm. We could do Winter Soldier. We could try Namor, although he's going to be a one-trick pony with his ultimate. He's basically just going to get them going. I think to have any hope of success with the teams that I have, it's got to be somebody. Let's wait, let's do Nick Fury. 
let's see if Nick Fury uh, uh, can pull it out. All right, so this is 140k punch down now. Like I said, these are all punch downs because this is the best that I could do. I mean, we're fighting another Diamond Alliance, but it's just, you know, it, the team's new to the game. So getting a lot of people who have G15 versions can be hard, and obviously my best characters are at that level. But this gives you a sense of what you can do, how the team plays, what you counter, etc. All right, let's try it out. All right, what do we got? All right, they're going after Red Skull. Up oh, there we go. Okay, so now the question is, who do we ability block? Once again, I think it's going to be our man Iron Fist. It got resisted, though, this time. That's not good. All right, so now what we'll do is we got the summons. Okay. Oof. Okay, now we're going to get some more summons. This is summons, summons galore. All right, let's see. All right, so that's a potentially good situation, but not, we don't have like before you had the black bolt ping. And you know, one, one problem here is that we also before had a situation where, we'll just stun her. You, we had a situation where black bolt had those burps. And that was very helpful. But we don't have that wild well black bolt. And so you can see how much more challenging it is. So we did get rid of a charge. We've got another. We've already got rid of one charge there as well. Um, all right. They're going after Fury now. Guess he was the highest damage for a little while. Okay. Thanks for wasting your ult there. No problem. Okay. Uh, we're just going to continue focusing on Colleen Wing. Uh, like I said, she's kind of the high damage. All right. All right. What, my, G, my Red Skull is only G13, so that's part of the issue there. But if Red Skull goes down, I'm in huge trouble. All right. My Fury looks like he's going down. They're targeting him. I guess he is the uh, highest uh, damage. All right, I was uh, hoping there that we would be able to. All right, so Red Skull's down. That's a huge problem for me here. All right, let's see. I'm not. Uh, I'm not uh, very much sold here. So we we really had a lot of issues. So this goes to show you the challenge. This this team is clearly going to lose. So I think you know I think that team could work, but you're going to have to have it a lot larger than I do. But the, you can understand the keys to this fight, right? The keys are having a high damage, a da make sure you know who your high damage is, have that be someone survivable. You saw that worked with Bishop. You saw that worked with Black Bolt because it both have a lot of health. You also have to make sure that you have a high health character who could take some hits. And then you also have to make sure that you're keeping track of who the charges are. If you bring in Silver Surfer, he can get rid of charge on a character. But otherwise, you have to keep track. Like, if I bring this person below 50%, they're going to lose a charge. That may be your way of doing it. With the Axemen, you're basically just kind of running through charges. Uh, other than when Kestrel has her ult available, where, you know, and trying to out-sustain them, essentially, and control them by stunning Iron Fist and then using the debuffs, uh, otherwise, uh, you are uh, going to be, uh, you know, you're going to be trying to use the Black Bolt Burps or the Kestrel all to prevent them from reviving. All right, guys, if you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. Uh, please check out our Discord. It's linked below. Lots of great discussions there. And check out our Twitch stream as well. That's also linked below.